Welcome to Electro Online. Just to illustrate that we can solve the very same problem both as a function of x or as a function of y, well, we put this example up here. Again, it's the same kind of shape that we had on the previous video. Notice that it's symmetric about the y axis. We can say that the edge over here can be described as a function of x. And let's say that the function of x is equal to x squared. Again, to find the area, what we're going to do is we're going to take a small little dl, a small little arc length dl, and we're going to revolve it around the y-axis. Notice that the radius here can either be expressed as x or as the square root of y, because if f of x is x squared, that means y is x squared. We take the square root of both sides, so we end up at x equals the square root of y. So we can say that this distance here is either, either, is either equal to x or it is equal to the square root of y. And so when we wrap that around there, we get a small little dA segment on the surface of that shape, and then we integrate it. Well, either we integrate it from x equals a to x equals b, or from y equals c to y equals d. So there are two different ways in which you can solve that very same problem. Notice, though, that if you're going to use this concept right here, then x is now becoming the function of y, we'll call it g of y, and so it's equal to the square root of y, or we can write as y to the one-half power. So then, if we take the derivative of f of x, we get 2x, and if we square that, we get 4x squared. If we take the derivative of g of y, we get 1 half y to the minus 1 half, which is essentially equal to uh, 1 over 2y to the 1 half power, and then when we square it, we get 1 over 4y. The reason why we need to do that, of course, we need to take the derivative of the function of squared because that goes in here inside the radical. So we can either solve it like this. We can say that the area is 2 pi times the radius, where the radius in this case is x, times the square root of 1 plus the derivative of the function f of x squared times dx because we're going to use the x method, so to speak, to solve it. We're going to integrate from x equals a to x equals b along that edge. So this is the arc length and we have limits from x equals a to x equals b. Or we could solve it by saying the area is 2 pi times the radius, but instead of calling the radius x, we're going to call the radius the square root of y. And then, of course, we're going to take the arc length, but we're going to use the y as the independent variable, and so therefore we use the square root of 1 plus g prime of y squared times dy. And guess what? We should get the exact same answer no matter which method you use. You're probably now looking at that and go, well, I'm not so sure if that's true. Well, we're going to find out because we're going to solve the problem using this method. Then we're going to solve the problem using this method. And of course, if I was correct in what I just said, we should get the exact same answer. So let's go find out. Let's go solve the problem both ways and see if we do indeed get the same answer. 